Electo Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genium. We can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Alive too. Professor! Professor MJ! What's the matter, little one? Oh, there! It's... it's... What is it? Right! That's my question! What is it? <gasps> what is it? It's a seed. It's alive. If you plant it in the soil, a little shoot will appear out of it, and that shoot will eventually become a real plant. Mmm, it doesn't look very alive. Are plants really alive? They don't have mouths and they don't talk. They don't have eyes either. Or arms and legs. In nature, there are things that are alive and things that aren't alive. Trees, bushes, flowers, they're all plants and they're alive. Plants absorb water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. They use sunlight to make organic substances, starch and sugar. That process is called photosynthesis. It takes a very long time, but the plants are in no hurry. Let's plant this seed and you'll see for yourself. Why do you need a stool? Didn't you hear? It's a long process. Yes, we'll need to be patient. It will be days before the plant appears. But Professor, seeds need water as well as light. You're right. We'll have to make sure the soil doesn't dry out. I'll get the watering can. Is it okay that we have a lamp instead of the sun? Yes, it's a special daylight lamp that can stand in for the sun. It's a long process. You can all go and I'll stay and keep an eye on things. Don't worry, I'll be right here. We'll fall asleep and wake up together. <laughs> Professor! Professor MJ! What's the matter, little one? Over there! It's... it's... a pharaoh who's fighting off a caterpillar! Go away! Yeah. Get out! What happened? It tried to eat our plant! But it needs to eat too! So, are we supposed to give it our plant? Well done for defending the plant. That was very brave. We'll give the caterpillar something else to eat. Don't you worry. I've got a tasty treat for you. Look! It really is growing! You need more than just a stool to fight off a monster like that! Don't worry, little plant. I'll be right here. It already has one tiny little leaf. The soil's dry. Time to water it again. Can I do it? Here you go. Grow, little plant. Soon you'll be big and strong. Leave a bit for me. I need a drink, too. Professor! Professor MJ! Professor MJ, the plant's grown! We're going to need a bigger watering can. Great job, everyone. Your work paid off. The plant grew. Let's give it a name. A name for a plant? Well, it is alive. Can we, Professor? Of course you can, kids. The plant really is alive. Hey, look, a butterfly. Oh, I know. That used to be the caterpillar. You're right. While the plant was growing, the caterpillar turned into a chrysalis and then a butterfly. Now the plant is safe. So, what's its name going to be? How about we call it Vita? In the language of science, Vita means life. Great! Right. It's, alive. it's alive. What a pretty name. name! If our plant has a girl's name, that means it's a girl. Can plants actually be girls, Professor? They can, but it's nothing to do with their name. I think it's a high time we tended to Vita and gave her some water. Can I do it this time? Sure. Here you go.
Intellecto Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genio. He can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. He's leaving. Get ready. Go, you're up. Just a little more. Come on, you can do it. Uh. Yes, 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 it did. It, it worked. Now you. Uh. Wolfie, no. What? Why not? I thought we wanted to find out what was behind this door. I've changed my mind about this idea of yours. Idea of ours. I came up with it, but we decided together. We decided wrong. We're not allowed to go in there. The professor locks this door for a reason, to keep us out. Don't you want to know what's in there? We'll just take a peek and come right back out. A peek? Sure. Sure, sure nothing will go wrong. Just a quick peek. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that. Wow. What's up oh. there? Amazing! I'll check it out. Hi, though. We want to see too. It's not fair. Okay, then. We'll go together. Wow! Oh, oh, my. oh my! Oh my! A real Mendeleev land. Now I see why we weren't allowed to come in here. The professor wanted to have fun on these rides all by himself. Let's go. just starting to pick up speed. Don't listen to him. You saved us. Oh, kids, what have you done? It was all Wolfie's uh, idea. It was my idea. It was not. It was my idea. No, it was mine. No, mine. The idea was ours. I came up with it, but we decided together. Well, you got your punishment already. You came up against a very dangerous force. What? Kind of force. There are many forces in nature that influence everything. Like the force of gravity, for instance. All objects are pulled towards the Earth. If you throw an apple up in the air, the apple will drop. But if you put the apple in a bucket and spin the bucket around, the apple will not drop. Because centrifugal force will keep it from dropping. This force will even keep water from spilling out onto the ground. Wow, wow. look at that! Amazing. Amazing! That's incredible! Now, let's go. I'll show you another amusing place in our laboratory. Wow, Spinning. look at that! That's so cool! What a curious place. What's it for? Here I study centrifugal force. And really, I quite enjoy being in a spinning room. <laughs> Let's make it spin faster to make it more fun. Ha! How fun! You're really good at that, Professor MJ. Yoo-hoo!
Intellecto Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genium. We can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferro. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Mendeleev. Hey, what's that? And where did it come from? It's like a sculpture in a museum. <gasps> it's a spaceship. No, it's a secret agent who is going to spy on us. I'll show him. Stop, you'll break the sculpture. Hi, kids. Hey, hey Professor, Professor MJ. MJ. Kids, I need your help with a science experiment. A few days ago, I put a hard-boiled egg in some vinegar. Could you keep an eye on the egg? Sure we we'll could. Do. Sure. Thanks, kids. You're very kind. While you do that, I'm going to have a bit of a nap. How about we take turns watching the spaceship? Dibs, I go first. I don't trust that spy. I'm going to watch him like a hawk. Just don't damage the sculpture. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, wake up! Oh, I wasn't asleep. I was just uh, uh, resting my eyes for a second. <gasps> Look! Wow, it's shining. Wow, the shell's gone. Uh, I was just about to call you all over. We should tell Professor MJ right away. Professor, Professor MJ. MJ! Professor MJ, the shell's, shell's gone. gone. I noticed first. He can't hear us. He's asleep. But we can't wake him up. That means he can't hear us. What if he can't hear us at all anymore, like before? You think he's... He's lost his gift? That can't be. We all know the story. Long, long ago... This is no time for stories. We need to check out what's happened right away. Long, long ago, the great chemist Dmitry Mendeleev found he had a gift. In his sleep, he heard voices. They were the voices of the chemical elements. Mendeleev took a closer look and saw little creatures, all with different forms and different abilities. When the scientist woke up, he found his dream had come true. Now he could see the elements, for real. Mendeleev made friends with them and so was able to create his famous table of the elements, Mendeleev's periodic table. Professor MJ, Professor MJ, the shell the is gone. gone. The shell's gone. Can you hear us? Are you okay? He can't hear us. The worst has happened. He's lost his gift. That can't be. He's the great grandson of Mendeleev himself, and the gift is passed down from generation to generation to all his descendants. <laughs> professor, Professor, oh no, what's going on? Quick, help me! Look! It's just an earplug! So the professor's okay? Professor, professor, MJ. MJ. professor MJ. MJ! Good morning, kids! How are you doing? The shell's gone! The egg! It's... it's... It's shining! Great! That means the experiment's been a success! Let's see what we've got! Did we sleep through all the action? No, you're right on time. The vinegar the egg was submerged in is an acid. The egg's shell is made of a substance called calcium. The acid made the calcium dissolve and the shell disappeared. What an amazing sculpture. It really does look like it's come from outer space. <sighs> so it's not the spy then. The properties of the egg itself have also changed. Now it's like rubber. Can we play with it? Sure. Lecto 
kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genio. He can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferro. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. The flask is transparent. Why didn't I think of that? Which one is the real one? There you are! How did you guess? Your curl! You are so good, Koopy! Such attention to detail! It's so dark in here. I'm scared. Don't be scared. I'm here. Wolfie, you outed yourself. But thank you for coming to my rescue. Have you found everyone? Just Hido is left. I have no idea where he could be hiding. Where could Hido be hiding? Not here. And not here either. I've looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Has he flown away? That's not fair. Every one of us is special in some way. But there's no way I could get up there without flying. Hey, where did you fly off to? The plane hide and seek, not fly and seek. Well, what can I do if I'm always flying? Just try not to fly. Walk around like all normal children. I tried it. It didn't work. I'm so light inside that I'm constantly being pulled up. So it's all because of how light you are inside? I suggest you change that lightness to heaviness then. How? Heido, you need to have a nice big meal. We see that in nature, some things are light and some are heavy. Smoke travels upwards, but a stone falls downwards. This happens because everything around us is made of elements of different weights. Hydrogenium, otherwise known as hydrogen, is not only the most widespread, but also the lightest chemical element in nature. I wasn't expecting guests. Here's the jam and biscuits, here are the sandwiches, and here are the sweets. I think I will start with the sandwiches. I'd like a sweet. Sweets are not a proper meal. What is a proper meal? A candy won't give you enough heaviness. Koopy, do you have any porridge or pasta? Pasta? Could I still have that sweet? Oh, no, no, there are no more sweets left. That was the last one. Come on now, Hido, eat up! And we can go straight out to play hide and seek. Fine, I'll do it. <coughs> wow, <coughs> it all fits in there. Oh, my lightness has disappeared somehow. Get down, get down, get down! how heavy I am. Yeah, it worked! Now let's play! Wait, hold on. What is it? Look. Uh, <laughs> sugar is <laughs>
Intellecto Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genium. We can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Superhero. Oh, well, it looks like it's night already. I lost track of time. All the elements are already asleep. Oh, hang on. I can hear something. Left! Hup, two, three, four, left! Left! Hup, two, three, four, left! Left! Oh, <laughs> I think I know who that is. Ferrum. Ferrum's a real knight. He protects his friends' peace and quiet day and night, even while they sleep. I won't get in his way. <laughs> left! Hup, two, three, four, left! Left! Oh my god! Hup, two, three, four, left! Oh no! Straight ahead! Sleep soundly, my friends! I'm standing guard! Oh no, poor thing! Just look at that bump! We need to put something cold on it. Koopy, do you have anything cold? I'll have a look. Oh, my helmet. Where is it? What, what happened? Here, it's cold straight from the fridge. Great! This is exactly what we need. So, you, did you see who attacked you? No, I didn't. It must be someone huge and fierce. He'll have us too. <laughs> Oh, how is your bump? Is it better? Let's have a look. Uh-oh, is it stuck? We need to pry it off with something. Wolfie? Look! Now you're attracting all these metal bits. How are you doing it? Getting hit on the head must have given you superpowers. Superpowers! That's it! And since I have superpowers, what does that make me? A superhero! <laughs> <laughs> this superpower is called magnetism. Sometimes ferrum can be magnetized just by hitting it hard. Then it starts to attract other metallic objects. Farewell, sleep. Now the whole laboratory will be full of noise. Foes, beware! I'm standing guard! Good morning, kids. What's going on here? Pharaoh got hit by a hammer. He's attracted all sorts of things to himself and can't walk now. Maybe we should hit him again. No, we won't be hitting anyone. He's simply become magnetized. So how do we unmagnetize him? We just need to wait a little. He'll demagnetize on his own. How long will it take? Well, that I couldn't say. Perhaps a week, or perhaps a month. I can't wait that long. I've got guard duty this evening. All right, all right. There is another way. To quickly demagnetize ferrum, we need to thoroughly heat it up. Professor, I'm going to melt. No, 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 no. Keep still now. Only a little longer. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Hurry! It's working! Professor, so who was it that attacked Pharaoh? Huh, I think I know what it was. I left my hammer on the shelf, and Pharaoh was stomping so loudly that the hammer fell right on his head. This means that... So I'm no protector after all? How so? A protector is one who's always ready to take the blow for others. Well, I, for one, am very glad that we have such a brave protector. Only maybe it would be better if you protected us a little quieter? In slippers, perhaps? <laughs> and on tiptoes! <laughs> <laughs>
Intellecto Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genium. He can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Whose footprints? Here in this great big laboratory reside tiny little creatures called chemical elements. They help me to conduct my research and do experiments. Oh, what? Ah, no, no, ah, ah. Oh. No, oh, how clumsy of me. I'd better get a rag to wipe this up. I just need to learn how to concentrate. If I can manage that, then I'll be able to glow. That's what Grandpa Wolfram says, and he knows everything. Come on, a little more. Yes, it worked a little bit. I did it. Oh, what's this? Oh, who's there? Wolfie? Ah, Koopy, it's you. You really scared me. What happened? Why are you looking around? Quiet, there's somebody here. Who's here? I don't see anyone. Do you see those footprints? Yes. I don't know who made them, but they must belong to someone. Like who? I don't know. The prints are red, see? And there are so many of them. It looks as if a huge caterpillar walked through here. That's right. A giant red caterpillar with 140 legs must have left them. So what should we do? We can find it by tracking the footprints. L l let's better hide somewhere. No way. Adventure awaits and a mystery investigation. The case of the red caterpillar. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? It has a scary ring to it. That's OK. I learned to concentrate, which means I can light up. My grandpa taught me how to do it. And you can always pretend to be an ordinary wire, so no one will notice you. That I can do. Just give me a second. I need to concentrate. Great. So are you ready to go? Let's go. We see that in nature. Different things have different colors. Grass is green, wood is brown, and water's blue. It's all thanks to the special coloring substances called pigments. And back in ancient times, people learned to use pigments to make paints of different colors, which can be used to paint pictures. Huh. The footprints stop here. But where did the caterpillar go? <gasps> There's someone here! <laughs> Relax, Koopy. It's Professor Mendeley of Junior. Professor, Professor MJ! MJ. Professor ah, MJ! It's you, little ones. Hello. How are you? We found the footprints of a red caterpillar and followed them here. But they stopped. Did the caterpillar turn into a butterfly and fly away? No, I haven't seen one. But I accidentally spilled some red liquid here and made a big puddle I had to wipe up. So there was never any caterpillar. But then who left the footprints? That's quite a mystery. But I think I can crack it. I just need to concentrate. Footprints. Footprints. Oh, there are two sets of footprints here. Wolfie, but we were only following one. Wait, hold on. These are, these are my <laughs> footprints. <laughs> they really are yours. <laughs> the case of the red caterpillar has been solved. How about I give you some paper and different colored paint? Then you can leave your footprints everywhere. And we can make a painting. I know what we can paint. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Would you look at that? A portrait of me. <laughs> Professor MJ, you need to learn how to concentrate. Oh, looks like I missed something. I was playing hide and seek with Farron Hido. You haven't seen them, have you? No, we haven't. Then whose footprints are these? Thank <laughs> you.